I always tell people when one door closes, don't be sad. Great things will happen. I helped launch a cosmetic company, which is well known today. It's called NARS Cosmetic, N-A-R-S. And I was, I moved to Boca and there was only two stores in 1996 with Francois NARS to get this cosmetic line because they started in Barney's. No one knew what it was. Back then it was all about Bobby Brown. Back then I'm considered a country pumpkin to people in Boca at Saxon Avenue. Because in Orlando, we don't know anything. To, to say, to spend a $1,000 on a handbag is crazy. To spend $19 on a tube of lipstick is crazier, right? I interviewed and interviewed. I didn't get that job with NARS. They gave me a Lancome because my boss saw how I worked. When I moved down here, I didn't have a car. I didn't know anyone. I didn't even have a job, but I, I was freelancing. I freelanced for Ralph Lauren. So at that time, Ralph Lauren launched Polar Sports. But it didn't matter how much money I made. I just agreed to go wherever they tell me to go. I'd take the bus, the train, whatever. I would go, I'd make $10 for that day, but I showed up. I showed up and the cosmetic manager at Sex with Avenue at the times watched me at Bloomingdale's and in Boca. I didn't care who you were. I just jumped right in front of you and I introduced you and I wasn't trying to push it on you, but I wanted you to smell it and then maybe you can check it out. But he was impressed with that. So he gave me that because he gave me Lancome. I made it the number one counter in the seat. And so NARS was getting pulled out. They're paying a, a, for a line girl and a makeup artist. So I went up to my boss, I said, yo, Give me this job, the position. Nobody wants it. No, by the way, you got to give me $3 more because I was only making $11 an hour. I needed to make $13 at least. I'm talking about 1990s to the end of 1996. But he gave it to me and they weren't going to, they were like, well, we're not sure if you're good of a makeup artist. I'm like, you're kidding me. I'm the best makeup artist there is. I would practice makeup on people just because I wanted to see what the color looked like. I didn't give a crap that they didn't buy from me. I didn't care really. I had people coming in just so I could put makeup on them. To me, it was fun. It's better than sitting around complaining to people and say, oh, look at that person. I, I put makeup on homeless people. They come in, they smell bad, but I put makeup on them. I give them perfume. I get them samples. Because I look at life as like you treat people no matter where they're at in their life, the way you want to be treated. So I, that's mm -hmm. what I did. And from there, I grew. I actually, on my day off, I would travel and open Sephora for NARS Cosmetics. I opened up to Sephora, the Belk stores. I did all that while working my hours as a makeup artist line person. So my counter, when I left at the end of 2001, was a million dollars. If something happens, don't feel bad. Look at it as an opportunity. I thought I was going to be this famous makeup artist. I'm going to have my own skincare line. I'm going to have my own makeup line. 